Crazy Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. So, all right, man. Let's talk about Andrew Tate. <laughs> I was drinking. <laughs> yeah. I'm so, aware. I'm sure you heard. Oh, yeah. I'm this, aware. This is going to be old news now, but by the time it comes yeah, out. Yeah. But oh, yeah. That's very true. Figure we get, we'll get it early. Two weeks ago. Now, yeah, yeah. Something like that. So, I mean... I don't even know what to say about him in the first place. I mean, <laughs> I don't know how much you know about him, honestly, Jonas. I mean, this this is more in my my realm. Okay, here's what yours. I know. Okay, well, let's do this. Let's do discovery. Okay. Here's what I know about Andrew Tate. Okay, fair enough. He is he he had some kick. He was a kickboxer. He had some fights. Yep. Maybe like ten or eleven fights, something like that. Sure. I think he was undefeated, right? He was pretty good yeah, for a kickboxer. Right. He was all right. I wouldn't fight him. Um, and then he and then at some point he decided. I mean, I'm sure he's always been like this. He decided to like become one of these like anti-feminists okay. okay yeah i like how you threw anti in there immediately keep it going no, he's not feminist keep, he, oh, anti- keep going uh propaganda towards men almost like incel oh you're, you're using a lot of language a lot of abrasive language here. and okay. very in your face stuff very like very uh but I, I what i guess i didn't know about until this came up that he was keeping women hostage in his house or something, too? <laughs> Why? We, we're not going to bypass your inflammatory language. So, okay. Andrew Tate is a, uh, what they call a manosphere. A ma- oh, this is, is your realm? You're going to gladly say is that not, manosphere this, is not... <laughs> this is not my realm. I'm and, just, and what is he, pro-man? I'm just being more... Uh, is that the opposite of a feminist? Not, not necessarily. I mean, is blue the opposite of red or is it its own thing? You know, gotcha. Okay, kind of like that. Well, so, not really, because so, one's anyways. But go ahead. So the manosphere, the red pill community. Oh, I've heard of red pill. Absolutely, I know you have. Um, so the ideals behind it are like a man should take care of himself. We should have self esteem. But it is obviously taken to a, a very, very, very far, like a far right sort, like not not political, <laughs> but in the spectrum of of like man man respect, it takes it to the far one side it, it of go, man. yeah to the the far end of the spectrum is right, what right. I'll say. Um, and a lot of it can be uh, like detrimental to the way that people treat each other. I'll have to say, and a lot of the people who uh, flock to that type of ideals. Obviously, they take it too far. Self first at all costs. Yes, and Andrew mentality. Tate is one of the ones that spoke the the worst about women. About like women shouldn't drive. I wouldn't trust a female pilot. And it's just it, it was very. But I feel uh, like it's a character doubling down to get views. Definitely and get a character, man, and it made a millions. Oh yeah, he's rich definitely yeah, a character. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go continue. I'm sorry. No, that was it. I okay, so uh, it. recently Andrew Tate was on uh, Twitter. And Greta Thornburg, are you familiar with her? Mm-hmm. She's now 19 years old. I knew, yeah, I knew of her. She's like, she's been like the climate activist since she was like 13 or something. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. She's now 19 years old, and he got into a verbal sparring with her on Twitter, where he sent her a list of a bunch of supercars that he had, and said, you know, send me a send me a list on what the emissions are for these cars. And then she sent him a, she sent him a uh, tweet a tweet back that said, All right, just email me at small dick energy at get a life dot com. And that is where he uh, put the infamous pizza box. Yeah, I saw <laughs> this. <know> <laughs> So he replied to her then with a video, right? Like, yep. I don't even. What did he say in the video? I didn't even see the I video. I did not watch the video. Yeah, probably just more misogynistic kind of hate speech or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say I don't know, so I'm not gonna put that on him. But you know, if he, I had to guess, it wouldn't be out of his realm of doing. But I'm not gonna say he did that. Okay. And uh, so then, so then, what's the what's the why is, why is that? A, why was the pizza box a big deal? Oh, the pizza box was a big deal because uh, he is currently in Romania after he was, honestly, he was kicked out of America. I'm not exactly sure how he was kicked out. Um, I'm, not, I'm not very sure much, much about the history of that. But uh, he was, 
in Romania, they weren't sure where he was, but the pizza box had a very particular pizza name on it, and they were able to triangulate where he was by the pizza box that showed up in the well, video. Well, my guess is they pr- the police probably called the pizza place and said, where have you delivered in the last so far? And they knew they knew he was at his actual house. They just didn't know yeah, he was there. Yeah. So they were like, did you deliver to, to this address? Yes, we did. Yeah. They knew he was home. But, they, but I didn't realize that they were trying. He had a warrant for... For, human trafficking for human trafficking because i guess he would like have women come and stay in his house and like not let them leave or something i don't know much about that uh, i mean you know i mean allegedly I'm, I'm just gonna keep it a buck with you jones rich people get down to some weird shit man yes <laughs> rich people be doing some sh- like when you're rich and you're used to doing things a certain type of way with certain people especially like poor people um that you pick up like you pick up a bartender in a club so yeah come back to my place yeah, you used to getting off a certain way. And some people ain't going to go for that. They're going to be like, uh, no, this is illegal. Yeah. So, yeah, him and his brother ended up in- arrested. Yeah which, yeah. which is gross either way, you know. Whether you're rich and you can get it off because you're rich or you're just doing it because, you know, you don't respect women. It's it's gross. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, yeah, like, and I don't know what the what the alleged, all I, I was like, Holy shit, trafficking! I was like, "That's," I mean, and then you're just, but you're just brazen enough to like go back to your own house and just hope the cops don't happen to check on you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, and, oh my god, there's so much around this. By the way, Jonas, uh, Bill Cosby comedy tour is coming out. Well, <laughs> thanks for ruining the next episode. <laughs> I'm glad you just threw that out there. Spoiler alert! It was. It's in the same. It's in the same note. <laughs> but uh. <laughs> There's so much going on here. Andrew Tate had a an episode of a podcast that he did. I'm not sure with who, but he stated in his podcast, and it was very and like whether a person be wrong 90 percent of the time does not exclude them from being right. You know, uh, sometimes, sometimes of people time. that speak, dude, even people who are like like Alex Jones, even sometimes yeah. he says something that's actually true. Yeah, right. Like, and, he, and what he know. and what he said is that okay, so. He said, I have said a lot, and the first thing they're going to try to do is cancel me. And once you're canceled, then they'll try to put you in jail. And if that doesn't work, then they'll try to kill you. And what happened to Andrew Tate? He got canceled. And then after they couldn't after they couldn't cancel him because he's still out there making content, he's just in a different country, then they try to put him in jail. And he was like... The only thing I, I regret is that I've exhausted one of my lies is because I've been canceled. The next step is they're going to try to put me in jail for something. And I was like, yo, that's what they're doing to him. That's what they're doing to Trump. And I and I look, you know, whether or not they deserve it or not, that's not for me to decide. That's for you to decide. Court of public opinion is not not in here at right, this right, podcast. Right, yeah. But I just thought it was very interesting that he brought those that he brought those steps up. If you bring enough fire, uh-huh. you, you end up in jail. If you bring enough fire, but I mean, like, because yeah, you're you're not wrong. Like he's not wrong. If you ruffle enough feathers, enough sooner or later, you upset someone who has enough power to put you in jail. Yes. Or or you'll do something that they can put you in jail for, even if it's something small. Mm. Like, granted, human trafficking is not small, but like they'll get people like, oh yeah, you tax evasion. While we figure that out, and maybe they didn't even have tax evasion, but they're in jail the whole time while you're yeah, under yeah. wraps for your taxes being investigated or whatever. Yeah. Um, but I guess you know you can get around all that. Don't do stuff that's illegal. That and that's my thing. It's not even like if you if you bring enough smoke or if you come spit enough fire or whatever. You, it's like if you don't do shit that's illegal. But if you're rich, Jonas, rich people will tell you that they constantly have lawsuits brought up against you. Eminem has spoken about this in raps. I've heard of uh, I've heard of many many billionaires, especially like famous people. And that's right. the thing is that he's internet famous. Everybody knows this name. I can guarantee you that nobody's listened to any of his content and he, but they know who he is and knew he, know he's a he's, yeah. he's 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 abrasive as hell yeah in, in his words yeah yeah he says some pretty wild outlandish ish I've, I've seen like viral videos of people listening to him in the car with their girlfriend and i'm like why would you do that <laughs> that's gonna, a good way to lose your bitch just to make her mad as hell right. if, if not ruin the rest of the day because then she's pissed off <laughs> right? like yeah dude i feel you it's like i don't i don't understand like it's, I get it. If if you want, but see, to someone like that, 
the fame and notoriety, even if negative, is what they seek. Oh, they yeah. want to be well known. They want to be known. They want to try to like. And we can't say it wasn't like on in a vacuum, a hundred percent beneficial for him because he's made millions off of speaking in this inflammatory way about women. That's the business we need to get into. Jarvis. I will not join that business. I'm sorry. <laughs> no. Okay. I'll talk some wild ish about some wild ish. Well, let's not talk about somebody women. else, Jonas. Let's talk about like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Let's talk about it on the next episode because that's all the time we got for today's episode. Indigenous people. Go to the crazy town dot com. And Chinese. S- subscribe as TNT is just rattling off lawsuits. The Jews. For, <laughs> okay, Kanye. <laughs> Anyways, uh, for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.